Elasticity of Supply Geometric Method We shall use geometric method to measure elasticity along a non-linear supply curve. S is a non-linear supply curve. It is non-linear because its slope differs at different points. Remember what you have already learnt about measuring elasticity along a linear supply curve. We are going to use the same technique here also. We shall find elasticity at point F. Draw a tangent to the point F. Label the point where the tangent cuts the x-axis as D. Draw a vertical line from point F to x-axis and label x-coordinate as M. You have dm and om. Apply the formula dm over om. Since dm is less than om, supply elasticity is less than 1. Supply at point F is relatively inelastic. Moreover, watch, the tangent is passing through the x-axis. If the tangent drawn to a point on the supply curve passes through the x-axis, supply is relatively inelastic. What is elasticity at point C? Draw a tangent through point C. Since the tangent passes through the origin, the elasticity at point C is 1. Apply the formula dm is equal to om. Hence, elasticity of supply is unitary. Elasticity of supply at point B is greater than 1 because the tangent passes through the y-axis. Again, look, dm is greater than om. At point B, supply is relatively elastic. If a tangent drawn to a point on the supply curve is parallel to the x-axis, the supply is said to be perfectly elastic. This is what happens at point A. At point E on the supply curve, the elasticity is zero. The tangent drawn to that point is vertical and parallel to y-axis. Hence, supply is perfectly inelastic at point E. Thus, geometric method can conveniently be used to measure elasticity at a point on a nonlinear supply curve.